Hello, this video series will walk you through the step-by-step -step procedure involved in the conversion of Cisco IOS XE configuration to an SD-WAN compatible configuration using the Cisco SD-WAN conversion tool. To access this tool, enter convert to sdwan.cisco.com in your web browser. A landing page will appear covering the high-level features and highlights of the tool. This tool is intended for Cisco internal users and partners with hands-on experience with Cisco IOS XE and SD-WAN configurations. The examples of the typical users of this tool are field engineers, architects, and deployment engineers. The purpose of this tool is intended to Number 1. Translate and convert legacy iOS X EWAN configurations to a software-defined wide area network compatible configuration. Number 2. Determine which legacy configurations are supported by SD-WAN software. And number three, create device templates, feature templates, and policies based on conventional iOS X EWAN configurations. Please note that this conversion tool will not fully migrate a traditional iOS configuration to a fully functional SD-WAN configuration, automate SD-WAN deployments or configure an entire SD-WAN environment for you. This tool can be used to speed up migrations from legacy WAN to SD-WAN and improve accuracy in those conversions, allowing users to spend more time focusing on the architecture instead of the issues with the migration. To sign in, simply click the Sign In to Cisco button. This will lead you to the Cisco One ID sign-in page. Enter your Cisco CCO credentials to log in. Make sure you have Cisco partner or employee privileges. The configuration file conversion is a five-step process with uploading a valid legacy iOS XE config file being the first step. Click on Browse for a file and select the file on your computer or simply drag and drop it into the browser window. Click on Next to upload the file. Once the file is successfully uploaded, you will be able to view the file contents within the on-screen editor. Click on the Next button to validate the contents of this file. The validation process checks for compliance with the iOS XE network emulation devices and identifies the features that can be carried over as feature templates. Once the validation is complete, the parsed file is displayed in a side-by-side -side view, highlighting the supported and unsupported features. While the supported features are good from the conversion perspective, the unsupported features will need your attention. You can comment out these unsupported features with an exclamation mark at the beginning of a line or remove them entirely. Once you have made your changes, click on the reload button in the center of the screen so that the configuration can be verified again. One thing to note is that the legacy Cisco devices might be able to cater for the unsupported features, but these are not directly supported in feature templates for Cisco SD-WAN devices. However, with the add-on CLI template feature, you don't have to worry about losing the unsupported features, as these config blocks will be archived for later use. The add-on CLI template still needs to have supported SD-WAN CLIs, which will be validated later on in the process. Click on the Next button to proceed to make modifications to the config file. After the config file has been successfully parsed and verified, the next step is to make some very important modifications in the configurations. This includes Number 1. Selecting the target device type. Number 2. Specifying whether or not you want to configure the add-on CLI template. Please note that this option is only available for Cisco IOS routers, not for vEdge devices. Number 3. Selecting tunnel interfaces and adding SD-WAN system information. Click on Next to proceed after making these changes. A modification successful message will appear on the screen. Unlike having one standard tab as in the previous steps, you will see two tabs. One for the XESD WAN config that has all the supported configuration and is all set to be converted, and another for the add on CLI config with XESD WAN compliant config, which will be attached directly to the device template at the end of the export process. Any edits made at this stage will again be validated before proceeding with the final conversion. Once the XESD WAN config file has been successfully validated and converted, the following screen will appear. You can see the converted config in XML format, which will be consumed by the tool in the subsequent step. The user can also download the compatible SD-WAN file or the fully converted config file in XML formats from this view. The converted config file will be used to create the feature templates and device template in the next step. Click on the Next button to proceed. The export step generates the feature templates using the converted config for the user-selected vManage, 
and attaches these feature templates to a device template for consumption from the vManage user interface. In order to do so, specify the vManage details. Please note that this target vManage should be in a running state and accessible by the Cisco SD-WAN conversion tool. Click on the Next button to initiate the export process. We see that the config file has been successfully exported to vManage. Additionally, you can also download the SD-WAN compatible configuration file and add on CLI configuration files from this screen, if required. You can also view the converted configuration, reflected in the form of templates in the target vManage's user interface. Navigate to the vManage UI and log into the dashboard. Once you're logged in, go to the template list and view the device template that was created. You should see all the features that were present in the converted configuration. You can also view the individual features by navigating to the list of feature templates and selecting one to view more details. This marks the end of the workflow for converting an iOS XE config file to SD-WAN compatible configuration. You can click on History to view all your previous workflows and download any of the config files from any point during the conversion process. You are now ready to upload your own config file and convert it to SD-WAN compatible configuration for your migrations. If you have any queries, you can either refer to the detailed documentation for the tool, or feel free to reach out to the support team from the help menu in the toolbar. Clicking on documentation will redirect you to the tool's documentation portal. Here, you can go through the architecture guide to gain insight into how the tool performs the conversion process, or the user guide, which walks you through the various steps involved in the process. To reach out to the support team, you can click on contact support. The primary mode of support is through a moderated WebEx team space that you can join by clicking on the provided link. You can also email the support team by clicking on the SD-WAN conversion tool support alias. Thank you for watching.